Hello, my friends. So I came as promised. Now I'm going to spend the whole summer with you. Hooray. My uncle Fyodor came to us. Hooray. Only he's not yours, but our common uncle Fyodor. It is not necessary to privatize it only for yourself. Well, as soon as I arrived, you were already dividing me. It's Matroskin's fault for everything. A long time ago, I noticed behind his impudent cat-like face that he wanted to take over the command. No, oh, Sharik, it's your dog Caution that's to blame for everything. So you're looking for a catch in all my words. That's enough for you already. Give me a drink of tea with milk. I'm tired from the road. At the same time, you can tell me the latest Prostokvashinsky news. Citizen Comrade Uncle Fyodor. In your absence, no significant incidents have occurred except for the purchase of Zina and Verevkin, and the piano, and the disappearance of the postman Pechkin. Whoa. A whole postman has disappeared somewhere, and you have no incidents. Well, you know Uncle Fyodor, how harmful Pechkin is here. He just won't let me pass, he tries to eavesdrop all the time. I even trained our Gavriush especially, so that he would react aggressively to the postman's hats. That's the last time he followed Pechkin so much, that after that we didn't see him anymore. Who? Gavrusha. Was he missing? But no, oh, Gavrusha returned unharmed. Even on the horns that had begun to break through, he brought a postman's hat. We haven't seen Pechkin after this incident. And in the hat, now, grab a nest for yourself. Yeah, and the Prostokvashinsky people complain that the mail has not been coming to them for several weeks. You're the village, Sharik. How can the mail go? The postman bring it. I don't know. They didn't teach me postal subtleties. They taught me to bark at all sorts of cats more. No, oh, that's not going to work. We need to figure out where Pechkin disappeared. After all, the neighbor is still a postman, a respected member of society. And I'll talk to you later. Why and why did you train Gavriusha against Pechkin? And why didn't you ask where Igor Ivanovich went after Gavriusha chased him? Well, don't be angry with us, Uncle Fyodor. It's not like we weren't specifically interested. We thought he was just mad at us. Well, for the hat. And for Gavrusha. That's why he doesn't come to visit. It's all your fault, Sharik. There was nothing to grow a guard bull out of Gavrusha. Until I find out where Igor Ivanovich has gone, I'm not going home. Hello, Aunt Zina. Hello, child. Welcome back. And you see, I bought myself a piano. Have you decided to take up music? Of course. After all, music. Music is the sounds of the soul. That's how it is. Well then, okay, I won't distract you. You didn't really distract me. The piano is still upset. And all my attempts to play something are unsuccessful. I think I can guess what exactly happened to your piano. The piano is a good instrument, but you still need to be able to play it. I will definitely visit Aunt Zina sometime later. Hello, Grandma Palaja. Hello, Granddaughter. I suppose you've come for the holidays. Yes, now I will spend the whole summer in Prostokvashino. That's good. But look, be very careful. And then, we have such strange things going on here. Thank you, Grandma, for warning me. You're welcome. You, most importantly, come in more often.
Grandma, please tell me in more detail, what kind of strange things are happening around. Recently, people in the village have been saying, that it is in the house where your cats and dogs live, that the source of all the oddities is located. First, our local postman disappeared somewhere, and people stopped receiving letters and newspapers. Here he is. Fruits began to disappear from the trees more and more often, vegetables began to appear in the gardens, and strange traces appeared. It all happened at night, so no one saw anyone. After that, things began to disappear without a trace, which someone in the yard would pick up, what did he leave behind? People even began to lock the doors and shut the shutters tightly at night, which no one had done before. So Aunt Zina left her piano on the street for the night, and in the morning, it was so upset, that now it is impossible to play it. And they say that it was that night, that very strange sounds were heard from the store. And why did people decide, that all the oddities come from our house? Oh how why? It all fits together. You don't write out newspapers, your turnover is as light as it is worth. And at night, there is such a roar coming from your barn, that you can hear it by the river. So people began to walk around your house, and those who live in it. Yes, business. What am I going to do now, Grandma? Can you tell me? I don't know, Granddaughter, walk around the village, ask people. And there, you look, and there it will be found by itself. Only I have one condition. If it's your cats and dogs that have done such things, then let them ask me for an apology. And then I have things that I left to dry on a rope, then they are gone. Okay, Grandma, I'll definitely figure something out with this. Grandma Pelagia has already told me a lot of things, I won't distract her yet. Well, I'm telling ye you've done such a thing. We'll have to fix everything now. A completely clean thing. It doesn't look like someone deliberately threw it away. Maybe he lost it? Good afternoon, Uncle Tolio. Uh, welcome back, Uncle Fyodor. Will you be staying with us for a long time, for the whole summer? What should I do in the city? There's only concrete to asphalt everywhere. You arrived just in time. We have such strange things going on here in Prostokvashino, it's just awful. The postman Pechkin disappeared somewhere. I haven't received any fresh mail for a week. People say, that it's all your cats and dogs to blame. Yes, business. You really help us Uncle Fyodor, to sort out these oddities. Of course I will help, that's what I'm doing right now. Apparently, Uncle Tolia's busy reading. I won't distract him unnecessarily.
It is not necessary to distract the professor once again for trifles. Until I find out where Igor Ivanovich has gone, I'm not going home. This canister is already so many years old, that it has become leaky by itself. Strange, how could I not notice that our Tertermity is not in the usual place? I'll have to ask Matroskin where he is. Until I find out where Igor Ivanovich has gone, home. I need to find out where the postman Pechkin has disappeared. So there's no point in me going home. Matroskin loves this vegetable garden very much, but for some reason, he does not take care of it very often. Our beloved Mirka and Gavriusha live in this shed. I will definitely ask Matroskin, where is our Tormody? An ordinary tractor wheel. Let my car rest from the road, I don't need to go anywhere right now. Grandma Palagia has so many things for me. I will definitely. I need to figure out where the postman Pechkin has gone first. I need to. There's no need for me to go to Semen or Beaver. Strange, how did this thing get here? You can talk to the director of the museum another time. I have something more important to do right now.
Fear. Why? Why should I go somewhere now? I need to know where. Until I find out. I will definitely ask Matroskin, where is our Tormody? I have a more important one right now. I will always have time to visit the post office yard. Professor Semen lives down the street, and a beaver lives further away. But I'm not there at all right now. All, oh, Igor Ivanovich. Are you there? I didn't understand anything. Repeat. Yes, I'm saying that I'm here. And what happened to you? Yes. You see, Uncle Fyodor, what your cats and dogs have brought. They have turned the quiet work of a postman into one of the most dangerous professions on earth. I used to be able to enter any yard without fear. And now the guard bulls are chasing me all over the village, and the postman's hats are being taken away. Well, you are not angry with Gavrisho. He's a young and an educated calf, that's why he chased you. Yeah. And he also took away my hat, as a military trophy, and out of ignorance. Well, we will return the hat to you. You'd better tell me why you only have mail accumulated. Why don't you deliver it? And what should I wear if I have a bicycle? Very well. Then why don't you deliver it? And how can I deliver it if my faithful steel bicycle horse broke down? And I have repeatedly told everyone that I am without a bicycle, as well as not a postman at all. All right. What if I help you fix your bike? Will you return to such a dangerous post of a rural postman? Yes, but only if your cats and dogs also apologize to me. And a hat. In the meantime, I won't even get out of the mail. Of course, Igor Ivanovich, I'll take care of it. And can I look at your bicycle horse in the meantime, to find out where it has a breakdown? And here he is behind my mail, just like steam locomotives at train stations. Only the sign is missing. To the eternal parking lot. Don't worry, we'll fix your bike. Yes, the bike is really broken. 
This is where and how it was necessary to drive, in order to lose the wheel. But not everything is so hopeless. After all, there is a bicycle products store in Troitsk. I think it will be possible to buy a new wheel there. Professor Semen lives down the street, and even further away. Well, my ball and matros can give. It's necessary to scare the postman like that. I found Pechkin. And where did you find it? And he was hiding from our guard bulls at the post office. Gavriusha is a good calf, but his upbringing is bad. And this is not surprising. What a trainer, such a calf. So, I set a task for you, to return the postman's hat to Pechkin, to apologize to Pechkin himself. Is everything clear? Clearly, clearly. But not all of them. Why should we apologize to Pechkin? Did Gavriusha scare him? Let him apologize. Oh, Sharik, Sharik, do you have any idea how Gavriusha will ask Pechkin for an apology, if he can't stand it? Okay, stop talking. Proceed to the new task. In the meantime, I'm going to Troitsko to get a new wheel for the Pechka bicycle. Yes, I didn't calculate the fuel. Now we have to get out of it. We'll have to find out from Matroskin where our Turtur Mitya is, otherwise we won't see him in the yard. The door to the pantry is probably closed, and I don't need anything from my husband. Matroskin, all Matroskin, and tell me, where did our Trumit get dressed? And I completely forgot to tell you, that we borrowed him as a collective farmer from Troitsky, because they bathed their own tractor in the river, and now he refuses to ride with them at all. Listen to Matroskin, do we have anything in the household, that can fill up my car? We have food, we fill it up, but we don't have any other equipment. This means, that there is no one, with what this very technique is filled with. Yes, how can I get to Troitsko now? I need to try to find fuel for my car. For sure in general, someone had a canister of gasoline in Prostokvashino.
A grabber lives on this closet. Our grabber likes to climb higher, so that no one can reach him. Aunt Zina, is it by any chance impossible to buy fuel for a car in your store? No oh not at all, Uncle Fyodor. In my store, only environmentally friendly things are sold. And all sorts of cars there only pollute nature. I'll definitely visit Aunt Zina sometime later. Grandma Palagea, can you tell me from whom in Prostokvashino you can take fuel to refuel the car? Oh, honey, I really want to help you. I do not know who can have fuel. Grandma Palagea, can you tell me? Uncle Tolia, do you have a canister of gasoline lying around in your museum? The dinosaur skull was lying around. A few prehistoric stones too. But there is no gasoline. Apparently, Uncle Tolia is not respectful. Igor Ivanovich, do you have a canister of gasoline? In such a mess as I have at the post office, I myself will not be found soon. Igor Ivanovich, but you don't, on, such a mess. Hello, Professor. Oh, Uncle Fyodor. Hello, hello. I suppose you've come for the holidays. Yes. And I see that I arrived very timely, otherwise my friends completely lost their temper. Yes, your Sharik and Matroskin have done harmful things. I've already talked to them. They promised to apologize to everyone. It's very good, Uncle Fyodor, that you have such a beneficial influence on them. Professor, do you have some gasoline? I need to refuel my car in order to go to Troitsko. Well, Uncle Fyodor, I don't have any gasoline. Of course, it is possible to come up with a replacement for it through laboratory experiments, but it can take years. Your version is interesting, of course, but I need to today. Well, then ask someone else. Surely there will be something in the whole village. I don't want to distract the professor at the moment. Hello, Bob. Haven't seen you in a while. Oh, Uncle Fyodor, hello to you too. Are you just like that, or are you always on business? Oh, unfortunately, on business. I have such a problem here. I need to go to Troitskaya to get spare parts for the Pechkin bike. And as luck would have it, I ran out of gas in my car. You don't know who you can get it from. Oh, what would you do without me? Purely by chance, I have a can of gasoline. I collected the fuel film from the water, when the tractor was bathed in the river upstream, in Troitsk. But just like that, I can't give it to you. This fuel is in my canister, on which my house stands. And you see, the river has overflowed its banks, and if I remove the barrel from under the house, then it will be in the water with one edge. If you bring me something to replace this barrel, I'll give you the fuel. Alright, Beaver, I'll try to think of something. Uncle Fyodor, 
Have you already found me something to replace the barrel? You know, Bobble, not yet, but I'll find it soon. Why would I go out of the village, and besides on foot? I'll contact the professor as soon as I need something. Well, my ball with Matroskin gives. We have to go ask everyone about the oddities. Aunt Zina is very busy, yes. Matroskin, and Matroskin, do you know where our old inflatable boat is? I know of course, it's in the attic, but why do you need it? Bobrov, I'm carrying cans of gasoline instead, which he substituted for the house. Now I have something to give the beaver, in return for a barrel of gasoline. However, first, this boat needs to be inflated, so that it can float. The door to the storeroom is probably closed. Matroskin does not like empty conversations, therefore I will not distract him. A lowered boat is unlikely to suit a beaver. Before giving the boat to the beaver, it needs to be pumped up. Comrade Pechkin, I'm here on business. Do you happen to have a pump? that you can pump up an old boat. Of course there is. It's an irreplaceable thing in the household. Look in the backyard near the bike. Just be sure to put it in place. Well, I will definitely return it to you. Yeah. 
It's not that I won't find a pump here, how would I not get lost here myself? Such desolation. You know, Uncle Pechkin, I'm not going to look for anything. Everything is too neglected and not cleaned up there. Well, as you wish, Uncle Fyodor. I'd rather come up with some alternative method of inflating boats. Well, my ball and matros can give. I'll turn turn to. Listen, Uncle Tolia, could you lend me your vacuum cleaner? I could, but why do you need it? You've got mice again. I need to pump up the boat, and there are no improvised means, except for your vacuum cleaner anymore. Take it of course. There it is, in the back room of the museum. Thank you very much. Now I have a completely floating boat, and I can go to the beaver. Here, beaver, I've brought a replacement for your barrel. A whole rubber inflatable boat. She was lying idle in our attic, but now she has served a good service. All right, Uncle Fyodor, now I can give you a barrel of fuel. Wow, Uncle Fyodor, I've got a houseboat now. I would never have guessed. Now I can roam all over the river. Thank you. This is for you, Beaver, thank you. Now I will be able to go to Troitsko to get spare parts for Pekin's bike. Only you know, Uncle Fyodor, there are rumors in the village that the source of all oddities lives in your house. So someone scared all the fish around me, and I have to feed the children. Tell me more, Bob. There's nothing to tell. For several nights in a row, something is floundering in the river so much that all the fish upstream of Troitskaya left. All right, beaver, I'll try to figure it out. Probably it's not worth disturbing the beaver anymore, he didn't help very much anyway. Well, yes. I didn't calculate the fuel. Now we have to get out of it. What can we do now without Mitya? Well, the car is refueled. You need to go to Troitsko for spare parts, take the walls of Pechkin. You need to be careful, otherwise there is a bad road ahead. You need to be careful, otherwise there is a bad road ahead.
and now Trinity is visible. Quite a bit left. I'm in Troitsk now, and I don't have a map of this area. Hello, Grandfather Porphyry. Hello, boy. Who are you? I am from the neighboring village of Prostokvashino. My name is Uncle Fyodor. What brings you here? Here's the thing. I need a bicycle wheel, otherwise our mailman's bike broke down. So now he refuses to deliver mail. Yes, the postmen have gone completely lazy now. He refuses to work without bicycles. Soon they will want a car or even a helicopter. But that's not what I'm talking about. I came to your store to buy a wheel, and it seems to be closed. It's a long story. The store is closed, because there is no light in it, and the cash register does not work. So I can't make any purchase. And there is no light, because my electric meter counts incorrectly. Well, maybe I can help you with something. Because, well, I really need a bicycle wheel. Oh, and youth, youth. Of course, I will not refuse your help. Look, maybe you can fix the electric meter. Can you tell me where your meter is located? What not to say? I'll tell you, it's somewhere on the back wall of the store, but I've been there for so long that I certainly don't remember where it is. I managed to fix the electric meter. Grandpa, I fixed your meter. Now you can open a store. This is very good. Thank you so much. What did you want to buy from me? I wanted to buy a bicycle wheel. Oh, I remember. Exactly, exactly. So I can just give you a wheel, I have an extra one lying around. It will be like a thank you for helping me. Well, thank you very much, Grandpa Porphyry. You are not only helping me with this wheel, but also, one might say, saving the entire local postal system. And thank you for the honorable counter. Come again. Grandpa Porphyry really helped me out. We need to go back to Pekin and start repairing his bike. Yes, they did a lot of things. Now it's not like Pechkin. No one will visit us at all, because they will think that we are harmful. We need to give Pechkin his hat. And it wouldn't hurt to apologize to all the other villagers, too. Matroskin. Ah, uh, Matroskin? Maybe you'll go to Pechkin to apologize instead of me. I'm kind of scared. Well, no, oh, Gavriusha, even though he is my cow's calf, it means that he is mine in combination but you trained him, so you should apologize.
Hello, Comrade Pechkin. I am only a comrade for decent people. And for you, I am an official, Citizen Postman Pechkin. All right, Citizen Postman Pechkin. I came to you to apologize. Well, instead of Gavrisha, I'm not going to listen to anything while I'm not wearing a hat. As long as I don't bring Pechkin his hat, he won't accept my apologies. Listen, Matroskin, do you know where the Pechkinskaya hat that Gavriusha brought home on horns is? Of course I know. I have everything in my household, and everything is always in its place. He and the hat are also attached. Grab the stones, you've made a new nest for yourself, otherwise the old one has worn out for a long time. Listen, Matroskin, do you know where the hat is? Of course I know. But Taika won't just give up her new nest. We need to distract him with something. Matroskin, help me take away the hat from the grabber, otherwise he won't give it to me just like that. It's you who needs a hat, so you take it away. But he won't give it to me until I distract him with something. And you look for his favorite cookies in the kitchen. Suddenly it turns out to distract. Listen, Matroskin, do you know where our fishing rod is? Otherwise I can't reach the hat just like that. You're a ball, a ball. You need to keep track of your things. And what would you do without me? In the pantry, your fishing rod is in the corner. There was once my fishing rod in the storeroom. I think that with her help, I can get a hat from the grabby closet. Oh, that Matroskin. Just give him the wool, he locks everything behind the barn locks. So the pantry is closed. It is necessary to ask Matroskin for a key. Here it is, cookies. With his help, I will be able to distract the grabber and try to get the Pechkin hat from the closet. Matroskin, listen, I need to get a fishing rod in the pantry. Well, take it, it's your fishing rod. The fishing rod is mine. And here's the lock on the pantry, yours which means that the key to this lock is also yours. Where is he? I have everything in its place. The key is where it should be, hanging on the stove, on a strong string, so that the grabber does not drag it away. So Matroskin, I want you to know, there is no key on the stove. Oh, I completely forgot that I accidentally dropped it into a bucket of water when watering the vegetable gardens, but I forgot to get it. He's probably lying in the garden somewhere right now. Then I'll run to look. Take your time, Sharik, it's been a long time. Just like that, you can't find a key in the garden without a magnet. Where is he lying? Look in the kitchen. The last time I saw him there. I already have a magnet, and I'm ready to go in search of the key. I don't need to distract Matroskin.
Oh, this Matroskin has brought the garden to what? Not a vegetable garden, but a scrap yard of some kind. I need to carefully walk around the garden with a magnet, so that the magnet does not stick to some piece of iron. Oh, and it's not easy to unhook a stuck magnet. And here's the key to the pantry. Uncle Fyodor needs to carry it soon. And I'll talk to Matroskin about what he arranged in the garden. Well, the pantry is now open, and I will not give the key to Matroskin, otherwise he will lose it again. And here's the fishing rod. Now I'm fully armed and can fight with our harmful grabby for the postman's hat. So, it is necessary to distract the grabber with cookies, hook the hat with a fishing rod, and pull it to the edge. But there are so many unnecessary things that it looks like the hat will catch on, and then it will be even more difficult to get it. The fishing rod is thrown with the left mouse button. The range depends on the throw force indicator, which is located in the left corner of the screen. If you click on the right mouse button, then I will throw a piece of cookie to distract the grabber for a while. Here it is, the hat of the postman Pechkin. Now you can go to him. I have no time to communicate with Matroskin here, and there are plenty of other things to do without it. Citizen Postman Pechkin, I brought you a hat. Are you kidding me? This is some kind of bird's nest, not a postman's hat. Here are some feathers sticking out. I'm not an Indian to wear feathers on my hat. I would be ashamed to show myself to people in such a hat. And I won't accept your apologies. I need a hat. And if I'm not a postman without a bicycle, then even more so without a hat. Yes, the chances that Pechkin will accept our apology are decreasing by the minute. We urgently need to find a new hat for him. You know Matroskin, but Pechkin refused to take his hat back. And am I to blame for grabbing a nest out of it for myself? And what should we do now? How to be, how to be, go to the store. You can buy a hat there, because people didn't just come up with them.
Hello, Anzina. Oh, hello, Sharik. How you scared me. I was so into music that I didn't even notice you came. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I've been scaring everyone lately and scared the postman away, and now here are the saleswomen. But I came to you on business. On what kind of case? You know, the postman Pechkin doesn't want to excuse me until I bring him a new hat. And then, our Grabka ruined his old one. You know, Sharik, I would love to help you solve this problem, but I have other things to do right now. I bought a piano for myself, and left it in the yard for the night. I came in the morning, the lid is open, and the piano is upset. And I can't set it up myself. As soon as I set it up, I'll help you pick up a hat for Pechkin right away. Aunt Zina, maybe I can help you tune the piano. Dear Sharik, I am of course, very pleased, that you want to help me. But where have you seen a dog with a musical ear? I don't think you can do it. Cats are another matter. They have an innate ear for music. Oh, what choral performances they arrange. I would like to listen and listen. All right. Then I'm going to run for Matroskin now. He is the most suitable feline candidate for the position of piano tuner. Listen, Matroskin, what if I ask you a favor? I told you, Sharik, that I wouldn't go to Pechkin, get out of it yourself. Yes, not to Pechkin, but to Aunt Zina, it is necessary to go. Here's the thing. She won't be able to help me with a new hat for Pechkin, until I help her tune the piano. But since I most likely have no hearing, then all hope is only for you. Yeah, that's how it always is. How to bully, so you yourself. And if you need help, then immediately Matroskin. Okay, I'll try to do something. But remember, Sharik, this is the last time I'm helping you out. Then you'll get out of it yourself. Oh, that balloon. He's always going to find some problems on his head, and then solve them for me. Okay, out of respect for him, I'm going to help Titasina tune the piano. Hello, Aunt Zina. Oh, hello, Matroskin. Have you come to help me tune the piano? Yes, Sharik told me about it. But only I, with my feline musical ear, will not be able to help you, if I do not have a tuning fork. And what is it, a tuning fork? Is it some kind of pliers? No, oh, this is a special device, that emits sound, which is a reference for tuning like a sample of the right sound. Oh, oh, I see. I didn't find it in the kit. Some kind of thing like a fork, only with two prongs. But I just never found a use. A fork with two prongs is a tuning fork. Where is he with us? Here, hold this one. What's his name? Tuning fork. Great, now you can start setting up. You've helped me so much, that I'll give you the hat for free. Change it, not half of the store is filled up. Excuse me, but what kind of hat is this? This is a sailor's cap. Well, there are no others, especially postman's ear flaps. After all, it's summer outside. Okay, we'll have to get out of it again. Thank you very much Aunt Zina. You helped us a lot with the balloon. You're welcome. Thank you for that. Sharik Pechkin promised to bring the headrest, not me. So let him bring the balloons.
Sorry, there were no others. What I could, I got. Now somehow get out of it yourself. Citizen Postman Pechkin, I have brought you a new hat. Whoa. A real cap. Probably some kind of sea wolf, who has never been on a single voyage. Of course it's real. I just came from the store. Well, thank you, Sharik. Thanks to this hat, I will now switch to a summer postal and naval uniform. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, more precisely, Gavrisha and me. Of course I will. Thanks to this new hat, I am not so touchy and not so harmful. Oh, it's a pity, the bike is broken, otherwise I would have rushed to deliver mail right now. Don't worry, Uncle Fyodor will definitely come up with something to fix your bike. I did everything that was required of me. Now it's up to Uncle Fyodor and fixing the bike. I have no time to communicate with Matroskin here. And there are plenty of other things to do without it. The canister is completely rusted, and I don't need it. Hello, Beaver. Ah, Sharik. Hello, hello. Why are you so angry? Are you offended by us in any way? But because we have all the fish in the river gone. Now I have nothing to feed the little beavers with. And people in the village say that you are the cause of all the troubles. Why is that all of a sudden? Where is the river? And where is our home? How could we scare the fish away if I can't swim? and Matroskin, so he's a cat at all. Well, in general, I do not know. And until I feed the children, I don't want to think about anything else. And let me help you. Eh, uh, Ball, Ball, you're a dog. And where have you seen dogs catch fish? Another thing, cats. Well, who do you think Matroskin is? Then call Matroskin here. Maybe he can help me. Matroskin, could you go to the beaver now? What's that for? Well, you know, Gavryusha even managed to cheat on the river. He scared away all the fish in the area, and now the beaver does not know what to do. You, the cat, love fish, which means you know how to catch. Of course, I will help the beaver catch fish, but I want you to know, Sharik, that even though I'm a cat, I don't like fish. Hello her, Beaver. Hello, Matroskin. Then Sharik told me that you need my help. Yes. You're always bragging that you're a sea cat. So catch me some fish. And then, I don't know what kind of evil spirits are found in your house, but the fish in the neighborhood has disappeared. All right, Beaver. Let's tackle. I'll try to catch you some fish. It is necessary to catch beaver fish. Eh. All of them are like little children without me. Matroskin is that, Matroskin is everything. Okay, let's get started. Fishing is a simple activity. We choose the casting depth of the fishing rod and wait for the fish to get hooked. If you press the left mouse button, the hook will drop to exactly the depth that the green bar shows.
It's all strange. Some shoes are floating. Oh, I caught the wrong one at all. Next time you need to be more careful. It seems that the fish I caught will be enough for the beaver, for a long time. I think we can finish fishing. It is necessary to take the caught fish to the beaver. Well, that's it. Here you go. Caught almost a bag. Thank you, Matroskin. I didn't expect it. I guess I'm wrong about you after all. Rather, it's someone else messing up. Well, in general, I do not know who is messing up and why, but I helped you. Now you're not going to sulk at us with a balloon. No, come on. By no means. That's fine, I'll go. That's it Sharik, I caught some fish for the beaver. And now he won't be offended by us. No, oh, it won't. Beaver accepted our apology, so don't worry. Grandma Palajaya, I have come to you on a very important matter. Really? What kind of business do you have for me? Well, you know, all these oddities. In general, it's our Gavriusha's fault for everything. He is a young, uneducated calf. So Shah is standing in other people's yards. Well, if Gavriusha is to blame, then let him bring me all my things that have disappeared from the clothesline somewhere. But how will Gavriusha be able to do this? He's a calf. Well, then you'll have to come up with something yourself. All right, Grandma. I will try to return all your things. One of Grandma Palaja's things is great. We need to get this thing. This is definitely one of those that dried in the yard of Grandma Palaji. Good afternoon, Uncle Toliu. Hello, Sharik. How are you? Yes, somehow everything is not very good. Our Gavriusha has done some dirty tricks to all the villagers. Well, why everyone? For example, Gavriusha didn't damage anything in the museum. So you're not offended by us? No, of course not. Why would that be all of a sudden? Well, then I'll go on to sort things out. Otherwise, Uncle Fyodor will be back soon. And we have to apologize to everyone before his arrival. Well, run, run. Just be sure to come visit me. We need to get this thing. This is definitely one of those that dried in the yard of Grandma Palaju. We need to get this thing. 
This is definitely one of those that dried in the yard of Grandma Palaju. Well, Grandma, now you'll forgive me for not following Gavrisha. Why not excuse me? Of course, I'm sorry, the main thing is that you look after your pets better next time. All right, we will definitely conduct educational work among our cows. Hello, Professor. Hello, Sharik. Hello there. You probably came to apologize. Well, sort of yes. And what has Gavrisha done to you? You probably know that I have rare species of tropical plants growing in my garden. Of course I do. The whole village knows about it. So for this, I have a special system dug out in my garden that supplies palm trees with moisture. And all plants are directly dependent on this system. And your Gavriusha got into my garden, and all the tubs with palm trees shifted from their places. If they are not returned back, then without water they will disappear. What a horror! I'm going to do it right now, so as not to let your palm trees wither. Well, as I say, I've done some bad work here too. It is now necessary to put all the tubs with palm trees in place in a puddle of water. If I click on the left mouse button, then I will go one cell in the direction in which I am looking. If I click on the right mouse button, I will turn clockwise.
Yes, it didn't work out. We'll have to start everything from the beginning. Well, Gavrisha, I've done some bad work here too. It is now necessary to put all the tubs with palm trees in place in a puddle of water. If you click on the left mouse button, if you click. Yes. Not. Well, Gavriush, if you click on the right mouse button, I will turn clockwise. Yes, it didn't work out. We'll have to start everything from the beginning. Well, Gavrisha, I've done some bad work here too. It is now necessary to put all the tubs with palm trees in place in a puddle of water. If I click on the left mouse button, then I will go one cell in the direction in which I am looking. If I click on the right mouse button, I will turn clockwise. I think I put all the palm trees in their places. I think Professor Semen will accept our apologies now. Professor, I fixed everything. Now all the plants in your garden are in their places. Thank you, Sharik, for your good deed. You've helped me a lot. So you're not offended with us anymore. And I wasn't really offended before. I understand that your fault in Gavriusha's tricks is only indirect. I'm not offended by you. It is only necessary to monitor your home pupils. All right, professor. It won't happen again. Well, I'm going. Well then, goodbye. Don't forget to come visit. Matroskin, thank you for your help. No one takes offense at us at all now. Wonderful, balloon. And now let's go into the house, we'll wait for Uncle Fyodor to tell him everything. Now I have the wheel needed to fix the Pechkin bicycle. We should go to the post office soon. I don't know exactly how to fix the bike yet. I don't know exactly how to fix the bike yet. I see the ball with Matroskin has already returned your headdress. Only he's kind of weird. Not just a headdress, but a whole cap. I've always dreamed of this. 
Great, and I just brought a wheel for your bike. Now with a cap and a bicycle, you can return to your immediate duties. Of course I can, but only the bike needs to be repaired first, and I do not know how. Oh, I don't know. What should we do now? I think we should go to Semen. He's a professor after all. Maybe he has some drawings that will help us in this difficult matter. Good idea. I'm going to Semen's right now. Ivan Trofimovich, did my hooligans come to you to apologize? Of course. Your friends deliberately approached the issue of an apology, and at the same time Sharik put my garden in order. That's great, professor. You know, I need your help. What exactly did you need? I'm ready to help. I need to fix Pekin's bike, but I don't have the drawings, I don't know how. Well, it's quite simple. I just happen to have some drawings lying around. I think one of them will definitely suit you. Igor Ivanovich, I have the drawings. I think I can help you fix your bike now. Wonderful, Uncle Fyodor, let's get started soon. It seems that we have all the details of the bike. You can start repairing. You look carefully there, Uncle Fyodor. Don't damage anything. Don't worry, Uncle Pechkin. I will try very hard. The bike parts are quite heavy, and it will be difficult for me to put them in place. Great, the wheel is installed. Now it remains to put the gear. All the necessary bicycle parts are in their places. I can't believe my iron horse has embedded again. Thank you, Uncle Fyodor. Thank you so much. Well, Comrade Pechkin, you can return to your duties. You know, Uncle Fyodor, I just wanted to talk to you about my duties. You can't help me. How can I help you? You see, and while I was locked up in the post office, there was so much mail accumulated that I couldn't manage it myself in a month. And besides, it needs to be sorted first. Can you help me? Of course, of course I will help. Let's get started right now. Well, Grandfather Fetter, I'm loading mail into the sorting machine, only it's a little faulty. Throws the mail too far away. Your task. Catch her. All right, Igor Ivanovich, let's try it. Good girl, Uncle Fyodor, you handled the mail sorting professionally. Really? I tried very hard. Well, thank you, Uncle Fyodor. You really helped me out. I don't even know how to thank you. Come on. I'm helping in a friendly way. And let me also help you deliver the mail. Well, if that's how you want to help me, then let's start delivering mail right now. 
The postman Pechkin does not like to do extra work, because he has his own method of delivering mail. He always, when he passes by the entrance to the courtyard, puts the mail in the mailbox, and, in order not to get confused, and not to put the mail once again, passes near each house only once. I have to walk once near the entrance to each courtyard. I will move up, down, right or left, if I press the corresponding arrows on the keyboard. Well done, Uncle Fyodor. You did it. Uncle Fyodor, the entire postal service in my person is deeply indebted to you. I will ask my superiors to give you a certificate of honor as the best postman and volunteer. Thank you, Comrade Pechkin, for your trust. And I, in turn, invite you to visit us. You're coming, aren't you? Of course I will come. That's just the residual order at the post office, in plain sight, and I'll come right away. We will be looking forward to seeing you. In the meantime, I'm going too, because I haven't been home much since I arrived. I think I've finished all my business in the village. I'm going to go to Sharik's house with Matroskin, find out how things are going with them. Well, my friends, have you asked all the villagers for an apology? Of course. I went around and apologized to everyone. Oh, Sharik, you won't see these apologies without my help. You start quarreling again. Well, just like a cat with a dog. You see, Uncle Fyodor and Sharik always starts first. No, low, striped, you're always provoking me. Well, that's enough. The main thing is that we have all regained the trust of our neighbors and at the same time restored the work of the post office. And then, it's not the case that a village without a post office exists. But if Sharik hadn't trained Gavriusha like that, then all this wouldn't have happened. Well, Matroskin, are you starting again? 